Did you know bounty bars have not hit the US market since 1988? Unbelievable. Watch the video until the end to learn why such a delectable sweet treat is missing from the most profitable market in the world. Also, travel back in time to trace the origins of bounty chocolate bars and witness the complete manufacturing process from sourcing, roasting, and conching the finest ingredients to blending and packaging. Whether enjoyed as a personal treat or shared with loved ones, Bounty's enduring popularity is timeless because of the pleasure it brings to chocolate enthusiasts of all ages. The story, from its birth to its present day form, is as remarkable and rich as its taste. So let's travel back to where it all began. The history of Bounty chocolate bars takes us back to the mid 20th century, when the confectionery world was ripe with innovation and the desire to create new and exciting treats. The British confectionery company Mars Limited, now Mars Incorporated, introduced this coconut-filled tropical delight to the world in 1951. Inspired by the exotic allure of coconut, Mars created a chocolate bar that would charm with its unique flavor. The brand got its name in honor of the New Zealand islands where coconut palms grow. After all, the pope of their fruits is the main filling of the chocolate-coated bars. Also, the islands were named after Captain William Bly's ship, which discovered them. Hence, the Bounty logo reflects both of these factors. By the way, the word bounty means generous. Combining coconut with smooth milk chocolate was a stroke of culinary genius, resulting in a confection offering a delightful contrast of creamy sweetness and the natural freshness of coconut. With its distinctive blend of flavors, Bounty quickly gained popularity among chocolate enthusiasts. Its success in the United Kingdom led to its introduction in other markets and captivating taste buds worldwide. The production of Bounty chocolate bars has evolved from labor-intensive manual process to highly automated, efficient, and sustainable manufacturing practices. Technological advancements have improved ingredient sourcing, quality control measures, and consumer engagement, contributing to the transformation of Bounty production. Over the years, Bounty has evolved to cater to changing tastes and preferences. In addition to the original milk chocolate variant, Variations such as dark chocolate and white chocolate have been introduced, offering a wider range of options for chocolate lovers. These variations further enhance the versatility and appeal of the Bounty brand. Today, Bounty remains a beloved chocolate brand, continuing to delight fans with its unique combination of chocolate and coconut. A cherry-flavored version has also been available in Australia since 2006. This initially limited edition flavor remained available until 2013. Mango flavor was available in Europe from 2004 to 2005 and in Russia and Ukraine in 2010. A pineapple flavored edition was available in Russia in 2014. Bounty is manufactured and sold in many countries worldwide, including Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, the United Kingdom, and several countries in Europe and Asia. There are around 240 calories, 12 grams of fat, and 27 grams of sugar in one Bounty chocolate bar. It also has some protein, fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. Now, let's explore the key ingredients that contribute to the irresistible taste and texture of this popular treat. Milk chocolate, coconut, sugar, glucose syrup, vegetable oil, emulsifiers, and flavorings. Ingredient lists may vary slightly depending on the region and manufacturing process. However, the core elements of milk chocolate, coconut, sugar, and other ingredients remain vital components in creating bounty chocolate bars. But how is this melt-in-the-mouth blend created? Let's indulge in a chocolatey manufacturing process of Bounty Chocolate Bars. Step 1. Sourcing Ingredients Every successful chocolate bar starts with top quality ingredients. For Bounty Bars, the production process begins with procuring premium cocoa beans sourced from sustainable and ethical farms in South America and Africa. Mars sources the best quality cocoa from Brazil, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Ghana, Indonesia, Nigeria, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Philippines, and Vietnam. Among these regions, the primary sources of cocoa from Mars, particularly for bounty bars, are Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and Indonesia. These beans undergo careful inspection, ensuring only the finest make their way into the production line. The aromatic and juicy coconuts are meticulously selected to provide that distinctive tropical flavor. Step 2. Fermentation The beans are placed in special boxes or wrapped in banana leaves after being extracted from their shells. Over several days, chemical changes occur in the beans with just the right amount of heat and humidity, 
altering the bean's composition. This process helps to bring out unique flavors and removes any bitter taste, allowing the beans to develop their distinct character. Step 3. Roasting and Grinding After fermentation, the beans are subjected to controlled heat in a series of rotating drums, enhancing their natural flavors and removing any excess moisture. Once sufficiently roasted, the beans are ground into a fine paste known as cocoa liquor using high-speed grinding machines. Step 4. Conching and Refining The cocoa liquor then enters a machine called a conch, named after its shell-like shape. Here, the chocolate undergoes a lengthy process of intense kneading and heating, which refines its texture, enhances its aroma, and removes any remaining acidity. The conching process, which can last several hours, is crucial in developing the smooth and velvety consistency that distinguishes bounty chocolate bars. Step 5. Preparing the Coconut Filling While the cocoa liquor undergoes conching, the coconut filling takes shape. Freshly grated coconut is mixed with a precisely measured amount of sweetened condensed milk in a mixer, adding creaminess and sweetness. This mixture is then gently stirred and heated in large vessels, ensuring a uniform and delectable blend. It is then deposited into a pressing machine, giving it a stab-like appearance. From here, it is sent to a cooling machine to increase the thickness further. The coconut slab is now ready to be cut into the required size. Look how evenly the cutters are lined up. Moving forward, they separate, creating a good gap between the slab slices. The slabs are now cut into smaller pieces, all measuring the same by a single cutter. Step 6. Blending the ingredients Now comes the harmonious blending of the chocolate liquor and the coconut. When these two ingredients meet, it's a match made in chocolatey heaven. This combination gives Bounty its signature tropical charm and texture. The process is carried out precisely using automated enrobing machines which coat each bar in a silky layer of chocolate, giving it a thick and glossy exterior. Step 7. Cooling and Packaging Freshly glazed with chocolate coating, the Bounty Bars move through a cooling tunnel, where chilled air quickly solidifies the chocolate. The bars are carefully inspected for any imperfections and inconsistencies after the cooling process. Finally, the Bounty Bars are wrapped in iconic blue and silver packaging, ready to be transported to store shelves worldwide. Advanced packaging machines efficiently seal the bars, ensuring their freshness and protecting them from external factors. Wonder why this chocolate marvel is discontinued in the US? Bounty chocolate bars were available in convenience stores across the US in the 1980s, but Almond Joy bars by Hershey's had already started to win more hearts than Bounty chocolate bars by 1988 due to their more successful marketing. As a result, Mars had to pull the Bounty bar off the market in the US at this time, and it has never returned. However, it is still a beloved sweet treat in many countries for coconut lovers. Let us know in the comments section what is your favorite flavor of Bounty Chocolate Bars. Mine is dark chocolate. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for new videos. We'll see you in the next one.